Hi, I'm Valder Beebe, and I host the Valder Beebe Show on FM radio and internet television. I am famously known for that celebrity interview, which I conduct by cell phone, in studio, or satellite media tours. Go to ValderBeebeShow.com, YouTube.com slash Show, or our partnership network with Business in the Black, which is BlackSuccessAcademy.com, and click on the Valder BB Show channel. I'll see you there. Hi. Good morning, Dr. Anita Ogden. Thank you for joining us here in Dallas, Texas, live on KKVI FM Radio, The Belder BB Show. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Well, you know, everybody at my office, and I'm sure this is happening at people's home, they're coughing, they're sniffing, they're whiffing, whatever that is. But I, they, say, they keep telling me they've got these allergies going on. Is it because it's spring? Oh yeah, for sure. Uh, April, May, and early June are those intense spring allergy seasons and months, and that's when people can expect to experience those really classic allergy symptoms. Okay, so what can we do to help them? Uh, I don't have allergies, so, but I'm just empathetic to those who do have allergies. Is there anything that we can recommend or help them with? Yes, absolutely. So, so key to allergy season is being prepared and prevention. Uh, you want to really control your exposure, minimize your exposure to pollen, and you can help minimize your symptoms. So what I recommend to my patients is a nightly allergy ritual. Uh, when they come home from being outside, they should remove those clothes and leave them at the door uh, or put them in the wash. Uh, and every night they should take a shower and wash their hair. And very important, they should wash their face their eyes and their eyelids. It's important for allergy sufferers to also think about using non-irritating products. Avoid products that contain parabens and fragrance, alcohol and soap. Uh, I like Garnier's Gentle Sulfate-Free Cleanser uh, because it's a cleanser, but it's also hydrating and it's gentle. And a great tip is when you're on the go and you've been outside, uh, you should carry around makeup wipes so that when you come back in, you can wipe your face and re again, remove impurities and allergens that uh, can trigger symptoms. I like Garnier's micellar makeup wipes uh, because again, they're gentle for the allergic skin and um, and you can, and they're effective. Uh, and again, you can put them in your purse and have them on the go. Um, other very important tools are saline. Saline wash for the nose and for the eyes uh, helps remove pollen residue at the end of the day before you go to bed. And when you are out and about, uh, use sunglasses and a big hat to again, minimize how much pollen's landing on your body. Uh, I sometimes tell my patients to use Vaseline or Aquaphor or a balm around the nostrils so that you're trapping pollen before it enters your nasal passages. And you can always also get an over-the-counter antihistamine eye drop, a 24 our oral antihistamine to help control those symptoms. Dr. Ogden, Ogden, those are some great ideas. Those are things, as an employer, I can put some of those things in the bathroom, uh, in a restroom where, you know, people congregate. Thank you so much for that information. But I'm sure that allergy sufferers know a lot of this. Let me ask you, these products that are on the market, they find them over the counter? Yes, they're over the counter. Um, they're at drugstores, so there's something that you can really, you know, make sure that you have in your what we call like an allergy toolbox, and you have them ready to go uh, before your symptoms strike. Ooh, Dr. Ogden, she is a, a contributor this morning to you allergy sufferers. She comes to bring great information. You've heard her on NBC Nightly News, the Today Show, and various other places. Now listen up, because she's on the Valder BB show. Dr. Ogden, how serious is, is allergy sufferers? Is it just a few people in the United States, or is it a lot? Oh, it's a lot. Um, they Roughly 40% uh, of Americans have 
allergies since seasonal allergies and we think that number will just continue to rise because every year we're seeing worsening allergy seasons, um, pollen counts that are soaring. Uh, it's likely due to climate change and just warmer temperatures all around. Uh, so it is a very chronic problem. I think it's one of the six leading uh, chronic illnesses in the United States about a product that can help us. Once again, where can we get our Garnier and where does my audience want to go to get more information? They should go to GarnierUSA.com for more information.